Uh, good afternoon and welcome to Second 45 Record Store here in the heart of Clenefly. And we've got the four wonderful components that comprise the latest Welsh export, the Now. Gentlemen, please introduce yourself to MPM. Go on, Brian, who's that? So I'm Callum, I'm the guitarist. I'm Jay, I'm the bass player. Um, I'm Will, I'm the drummer. And I'm Shane, the superstar. <laughs> and we're here, you've just played a couple of acoustic sets to celebrate the launch of the new album, the debut album in fact, Too Hot to Handle. Yes, it is really, really it's scorching. Easy, yeah. yeah. And, gents, tell us about how this album came about. Um, well, we just get we just get in the practice room really and we just... Uh, it was more or less Gary told us we've got to do an album. <laughs> this so, is Gary, your manager. Yeah, we, we, we wrote an album. <laughs> and it's an absolute stonker. From beginning to end, from too hot to yeah. handle, to my personal favourite, time is over. Listen to that this morning. Bang. It get, that gets me right in the heart. Yeah, I think that's... Um, well, at the time, the Queen had passed away, so that's what the song's about, about the Queen passing. Really? I didn't know about, that. I didn't, yeah. yeah. Wow, that just adds more to it. Yeah, so... Who Queen, no, Freddie Mercury and the band. <laughs> Quite. Yeah, yeah. We, we were in the <laughs> studio at the time, and... Um, well, I was on holidays, and I'd come back, and the boys completely changed this song that we'd already made, and I was like, the lyrics don't fit anymore. So I was like, I have to write about something, and I started writing about the Queen then, obviously, because of the passing. And so. lyrics are really important to all four of you, I believe. You know, from what I can hear in the songs, there's strong messages coming out. Would you like to...? Yeah, um, there's all different types of messages in the yeah. album. Like we got um, love songs, we got um, songs to do with um, helping people with mental health, getting them out of a, a bad situation in their life. Songs about the royalty as well, aren't yes. they? Yeah, yeah. Royalty. and just songs about our, ant our general antics outside of the band. Yeah. I <laughs> mean, because you're all very serious gentlemen. Yeah. Yeah, yeah very naturally. Well, of course. I'm very serious. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, you're from the valleys, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. And that essence, there's something there that comes through in all of that as well. You know, there's sort of like a steamier edge. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, we have that background through our, you know, grandparents and stuff. I mean, being miners. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we're just full of banter, really. And we yeah. just we're just a bunch of idiots. <laughs> Four area but yeah. from the valleys. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, you, you s the album was launched yesterday. You celebrated that with a virtual show. Can you tell us a bit about that? Because that's something I've not really encountered before. Um, neither have we, to be honest. Yeah. Uh, yeah, even when I turned up, I still didn't really know what was going on. But I just think is the next sort of stage, people no longer need to go out to a gig anymore. They can sit in the house and be there virtually and listen to the band and interact with the band. You can even, they would explain, through you know, VR headsets, you can even go and buy merch virtually. You wow, can like actually okay. be your avatar and go over the merch stand yeah. and pick up a t shirt and buy and a t shirt and it gets delivered to your front door. That's a I'm, I'm actually generally blown yeah. away by that. So I think we'd be the, be the first band to yeah, ever have done a virtual yeah. um, sort of gig, and I think they're looking at doing a Grand Theft Auto. You can they they're going to be doing gigs in there and they're yeah. going to be adapting it for that and everything and no way so basically they'll go to like venues across the world yeah and they'll um video the rooms and then create the, like a yeah they'll create, create a virtual the room. version of the room oh, yeah, yeah so it's a replica like yeah. an exact replica of the room and the exact replica of the stage and then that's where you see yeah, the comic. and then venues will get paid um when people go into the game and they buy a ticket so it's keeping like independent venues then open so. that's that's quite a concept you know and it certainly expands your mind from a promoting side of things that hold on a minute we could have more than the capacity yeah of a venue. there's no ceiling is either of a thousand yeah. a million people watching yeah and it's it's, it's, it's infinite isn't it yeah. it was about just under that watching us yes there were nine hundred and seventy five thousand <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's amazing <laughs> you, know, if you must believe me then <laughs> <laughs> I did, <laughs> but no. I mean, the, t the overall concert. How did it go for you? It was strange because you're not. Um, it was literally on a stage at a time. Yeah, you're not interacting with the crowds. So you can't hear them. Yeah. And you can't 
So that's the strange feeling of it. But I'm sure you get used to it after you do it a few times. And I think that's the next step for them. I think they're going to try and make it as interactive as possible. Yeah. So. Sort of maybe have the crowd end up in front in front of you if you're wearing VR yeah, and yeah. whatnot. Yeah. I don't know. That's just mind blowing. No, no, but we'll leave that to the techs, eh? Yeah. yeah. And we'll concentrate on the business of rock and roll. You've got your album launched this Thursday, I believe. Yeah, that's in Islington Two, uh, Islington Academy Two, yeah, in London. Um, still tickets available as well, so go buy some tickets. Follow the link down below. Yeah, yeah. In the comments. Make sure you put it, yeah. <laughs> that's what all the good YouTubers do, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> and then you've got a couple of absolutely amazing support slots to follow up the, the next two days. Yeah, so we're um, following our fellow Welsh bands, you know, uh, Vida. Yeah, I remember them well. I mean. I think I saw them on a very early tour back in the mid '90s when they had literally. It was before the stage you were at. They had one EP going to play the local pub. So it's a great band. Because um, back when we first started the band, I'd actually messaged Grant Nicholas and sent him some more music, and he replied saying, "Oh, so I said something like, oh, how do we get to your point?'" And he just said, "Keep doing what you're doing, type of thing." Yeah, keep believing. And now we're supporting him. You know, so it's a bit mm. crazy. You know, we here at NPM firmly believe in you guys, the brand of rock and roll that you're bringing out of the valleys across the bridge. You've got to get it out and to a much bigger audience. I think you're far, you're, you're deserving of that, you know. You know, you've had the Rebels, who's, this is clearly their hometown, the Crows, Lawrence Black, they've all busted out of Wales. You're the next guys to do that, I believe, firmly believe that. Hopefully, if we if we aren't now, we're gonna hold you accountable for that. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'll put, I'll put, I'll put my neck on the shopping said line. It, yeah, put, yeah so, thanks, Will. So. <laughs> yeah, put me in. I'm prepared to put my neck on the line. You know, we was we was right about the crows a few years back. So, you know, it's, it's about just knowing a good band when you see one and hear one, and you're firmly in that category, guys. Oh, thank you. Um, it just take your vocals, Will. Um, uh, sorry, Shane. <laughs> It, don't take my vocals in. <laughs> no, 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 never give a drummer a microphone. <laughs> exactly. But I was sat there this morning listening to the album and thinking there's touches of Michael Hutchinson, but I couldn't think how it's blended with something. And then when you did the phonics cover in the first part of the set today, I thought, yeah, it's, it's Hutchinson and Kelly Jones brought together. Is that a deliberate thing or just a... No, I think it's just come because I obviously listen to Sarah Phonics when I was younger. Yeah. And I think I kind of like mimicked his voice without knowing. Yeah. But also put my own. Yeah. Stuff and on it. it's just like the first two or three tracks, Devil Inside Me and I Don't Do Too What to Handle, they, there is this in excess sort of edge to it, but perhaps that's because I'm an old git. Actually, yeah, it's been mentioned now. It so has? Yeah. I'll go and listen to some of the early Inkset when they were in their peak, and then, and you've yeah. you've you've obviously done this quite innocently. Yeah, yeah we did. without knowing because no. you know, dare I say, us old guys would have lived through that. You were born on the cusp of this, the turn of the century, probably. Just yeah. guessing. So that was before your time. Yeah, well, Devil Inside we actually had the influence from. Uh, you two Vert uh, vertical. Yeah, good album. Um, yeah, good band. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's where we had the influence. Yeah, from and that, it all comes from a similar time, a similar era. It's, it's interesting to hear. That. I mean, what other influences do you bring to the music of Do What to Handle? Well, um, it's kind of got like a Led Zeppelin vibe as well, yeah, isn't it? Like yeah. in the beginning but with um, with like the background vocals and it like chills out into like. The chain of like Fleetwood Mac as well, oh, there. Yeah. But it like drops out to that heavy bit. Yeah, it's got it's got a bit of everything really. Yeah. As well, yeah. Because um, you definitely um, see the softer side yeah, come yeah. through in the album. There was a ballad of "Please Remind Me of the Title of Living Day." Living Day. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Mm. See, I told you you were serious. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah. And so there is different dynamics, different the light and shade. Yeah. I just think that you don't. There's obviously loads of great albums out there, but you you know, obviously. The world we live in now, people's attention spans and maybe not as long as what they used to be, you know. So you've got to like, have a variety to hook the, the li hook the listening. Like you so say there's a box of chocolate. It is. It is like a box of chocolate. <laughs> yeah. 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 You know, you don't want to just have a toffee all the time, do you? <laughs> no, there's, there's something to be said about a caramel like crunch. Exactly. Yeah. 
even the coffee ones are let to last and then you might be in the mood for one of them one day. You but, never know, uh, do you? <laughs> although the orange ones in the quarterly sweet oh, are not as in now. I mean <laughs> it, was, it made me chuckle earlier on when you said when you first said what do you want us to cover? And I looked along the top row here, <laughs> and it's got to be the most eclectic top shelf of a record shop I've ever seen. Um, what have we got here? Basil oh, Rush? Is <laughs> um, John Inman, my favourite. I'm one, I'm two, I'm three. <laughs> Absolute classic. Paddy Roberts, songs for gay dogs. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I don't know any gay dogs, and I also know, even if I did know gay dogs, what genre of music are they would like to listen to? I'm but, not entirely sure. <laughs> <laughs> but it was just like, no, you, it was seriously, but this, this shop's great, and it's good to see local independent definitely. stores supporting new emerging bands. And it's definitely coming back, vinyl is yeah, definitely um, becoming more of a trend. Definitely, you know, I'm a, I'm a here holding too hot to handle very gently very very <laughs> gently and i think you know i compare this to listening to the crows and you know their first album murder and the motive the scarlet rebels show us your colors through the see through blue it's that good an album honest to god it is if this doesn't get in the charts next week there's something absolutely foul with the industry there's lots of things foul with the industry. We just, uh, you know, hang a fall over. <laughs> <laughs> it's so foul. It's so knock me off the arm of my chair. The yeah, very no. thought of it, yeah. Can you edit that out, please? <laughs> Only talking. No, no, no. We, it stays in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, there's always things foul with the industry, but it is what it is. Yeah, that's it. And I think, you know, it's about remaining positive, believing in the quality that is on both sides. And I love saying that, both sides, you know, because uh, yeah. an album... Mm. You know, there's so many people still discovering that an album isn't one side like a CD or digital files. It's a real thing. Yeah. And I've got one one, one question that's just jumped in my mind. It's the four crosses. Is that symbolising the four of you? It is now. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, basically, we're prison. Yeah, the, the, old, the, old, um, <laughs> the old trend of the album is to to make it look like it's too hot to handle. Yeah. And obviously, the crime we've committed is being too hot to handle, and even though we're not. We're, in, we the, we're in the prison cell and we're using yeah. the chalk. That's yeah. how many days we've been in the prison cell. So far. Yeah. So far. Um, wasn't there an album artwork from the last, from a single earlier this year or last year that had three cut crosses in one colour and one in that red? That was the last single, yeah. yeah that was the last single. Yeah. yeah. I was like, what is the message behind... That. It was more hinting towards that, really. Yeah, it? and yeah, it just yeah, looked good, so. to be honest. Right, it, really? sort of like, yeah. We were like, we were just thinking about our artwork, and obviously Shane came up with them, the, the red, and we were like, oh, that looks nice. Um, I really wish it could be <laughs> a did, more I complex story, but it really isn't. It just looked good. I <laughs> came down to producing an album. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's really it. Kind of looks a bit like the usual suspects. Yeah. Yeah, we that's <laughs> we actually go for that, didn't we? Yeah. yeah. So. Originally, we were going to be um, like not like the Brady Bench, we know, like in each corner. That's yeah. what we were, and it just didn't look as good, so yeah. we, we went down the usual suspects with then. Yeah. Oh, I decided the red as well because it was fine on that. Oh, yeah, that's right. Right, yeah, as you can see it better on the CD. But no, gems. Um, Will isn't six foot either, he's, he's more down the ankle. He complained, so we made him look six foot. <laughs> <laughs> were you happy with that, Will? I am six foot. <laughs> 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 I like a laugh and a joke. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm a serious guy. Yeah, no. Renowned for it. Re exactly. I fall off chairs and everything. <laughs> Seriously. S in a serious manner. Absolutely. And you've got a festival appearance with us guys down in Swansea, we beginning do. of May. The future's looking bright, yeah? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. exciting times. Is there anything else you can elaborate, tell us about? Um, Nothing yet. We just, there's a lot of, obviously, talk. There's a lot of talk with tours that obviously we can't mention because it's, it's not hundred percent. Yeah, 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 it's not done and dusted. No. So it's best. best. It's hard. It's hard to keep your mouth shut. And Just uh, we have to keep <laughs> looking at our social media. Absolutely. The Now UK on all social yeah. media platforms and www.thenowuk.com. We're all yeah, doing now we'll, goodness. We'll sling all those down below in the uh, in the write up, gents. It's been an absolute pleasure. Thank Wish you. you the very best for London 
Bristol, and we'll see you in Cardiff. Thanks, sir. Thank you. Thank you.